Out and Kyle is kind enough to join us. That's the kind of setup every pitcher would hope for, right? Great oh, effort yesterday. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it again. Give us some perspective. Where does that uh, sit? You've had a lot of great games in your career. Where's that one belong for you? That one was up there. Um, you know, you combine the uh, offensive com contribution that I put in there. Uh, you know, I think that was probably one of the best ones I've uh, been able to roll out. I feel bad we didn't put your uh, your RBIs <laughs> and your hits in there. <laughs> yeah. Did have two RBIs and two hits. Yeah, you can't forget about that. That doesn't happen very often. So, um, yeah, thanks for bringing it up. I think <laughs> actually I did. <laughs> nice. Kyle, how, how difficult is it? Does it change your approach a little bit when you have a big lead? Like the, you know, the team was able to give you some runs. Do you have to change your routine a little bit out there on the mound? No, you're basically trying to um, stick to. What do I got here? Oh, nice. No, basically you're trying to ignore distractions, kind of like that. And. Uh, <laughs> You know, I've gotten better at doing that out there on the mound. You, you try to approach each pitch as, the same as you would a 0 0 ball game or 9 nothing like we had yesterday. You know, it seems as though you, you go out there and you have, you know, three pitches. You know, you have the four pitches basically that you work into a game, and three of them are always seem to be working for you. But uh, yesterday, it seemed like all of them uh, were, were you were able to throw for strikes, even only in the count. Yeah, we had a good mix going. Um, you know, some days I have the slider and don't have the changeup, some days it's the opposite. Um, I've worked really hard this year getting the curveball to be something I could use more as a weapon rather than just the first pitch strike kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I've gone gotten better as the season gone on. And, uh, you know, yesterday I pretty much had all four working. And, and uh, when you combine that with the guys swinging early in the count, it, it's conducive to a really quick uh, game. There's a swing and a miss by Santana as Matt Garza picks up the strikeout, his first. Hey Kyle, you could speak to this. We've uh, we've talked a little bit here at the outset of this game about Garza pitching against his former team. A little bit different in that he was drafted by the Twins, brought to the big leagues uh, by the Twins. But you pitch for the Twins. Is there anything to that when you match up against a team you used to play for, especially maybe a team that traded you? Yeah, I mean, you you try to take the same approach. Like like I said, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, you know, guys change teams so often. Um, like this team, for instance, there's probably Two guys, maybe that he played with. Um, you know, I'm looking at it, and Maurer's the only guy I think I played with from, you know, six, seven years ago. Um, you know, so it's a completely different team. But uh, you know, you, it's, it's kind of more, more fun to go back to that that city, maybe, and, and go play there. Garza delivering a strike to Kyle Gibson. Well, just uh, give us some perspective, Kyle, on. Your season so far on what you've seen from the pitching staff at this point, especially the starters, you guys seem to have a nice, nice group. You, you're, you're funny. You guys get along with each other. As Garza picks up his second strikeout, give us your two month evaluation of what you've seen from the staff so far. I feel like we've done a pretty good job um, being consistent, going out there. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about the quality starts, but I, I think a lot of our quality starts are better than the six inning, three runs thing. And uh, you know, we just we've been doing a good job of eating up the innings for the most part. We got, a, like you said, a good tight group. We mess around with each other, obviously, a lot. And uh, it's kind of you keep each other on your toes. You know, we're sometimes brutally honest with each other about something that happened. Uh, you know, we go out and give each other a hard time while we're watching the bullpens. I get a lot of. Uh, Flack from the guys about how slow I throw, and they'll tell me a great change up on my fastball, <laughs> stuff like that. You know, so it's a, uh, you know, it's it's good fun. Um, you know, we, we got each other's backs when it comes down to it. Uh, it's good to hear, man. It it seems like that. That's the, uh, that's the impression we get. Looks like Giovanni's keeping your seat warm. We'll let you get back yeah, to it. Thanks, thanks for spending I, a little time I, with us. I had my towel ready because last time it sprung a leak. <laughs> <laughs> that's Kyle Loesch, uh, yesterday's winner, and we always appreciate Kyle giving us a few minutes from the dugout.